Hello pals, it's Pastor Amy. I'm excited to share with you today's Bible story. If you want to turn to this story in your Bible, you can find it in Luke chapter 22, starting in verse 7. As we listen to this story together, you're going to need some crayons or markers and some blank paper, so feel free to grab that now if you want to. Before we get to today's story, we need to remember a story from a long time ago when God saved God's people from being slaves in Egypt. Do you remember that story? It's the whole, let my people go one. In that story, God's people had been slaves in the country of Egypt, and God had made a way for them to be free and have their own choices and their own place to live. It took a lot of convincing Pharaoh, the king of the Egyptians, that he should let them go. Do you remember how? When he finally did, he changed his mind and sent his army racing after them. God saved God's people right on time when he made a way for them to walk across the sea and escape from the army. God had saved them in a big, mighty way that day. And since that time, the Jewish people had had a special meal together to remember and celebrate that day. It was called the Seder, and it was part of the celebration called Passover. God had saved God's people way back then, and God, through Jesus, was about to save God's people again, this time, always, and forever. We know that celebrating the Passover together was important to Jesus. And so, in today's story, he sends out two of his disciples, Peter and John, to find a place and all the things that they would need to have the Passover meal together. He told them to go into the city of Jerusalem and that they would meet a man carrying a jar of water. He said, follow him into the house that he goes into and say to that house's owner, the teacher needs a room to eat the Passover meal with his disciples. And the owner will show you a large room just upstairs. The Bible says that all of that happened just like Jesus had told them that he would. That night, the disciples gathered in the room that was prepared for them. The Bible says that while they were eating, Jesus spoke up to the group of friends. He said that he had looked forward to having this last supper with them. He said that all the things that they had been talking about would be true soon. The Bible says that Jesus took the bread in his hands and he gave thanks to God for it. And then he broke it so that it could be shared and he passed out all the pieces. He said, all of you take some of it and eat it. He was showing them that his body would be broken too, just like he had broken the bread. It would be given up so that every person can see God's dreams for the world come true. He told them to share the bread together after this day too, to remember him. The Bible says that in the same way he took a drink and he thanked God again. The Bible says that he shared that drink too and that everyone in the room got some. He said, when I suffer this way, there will be a new promise between God and all people. This promise is still ours today. God's people um, still take the Lord's Supper together in church sometimes and remember that Jesus suffered for us and for all people. We are part of that new promise between God and people. Anyone who follows the way of Jesus can be part of God's promise and God's dreams for the world. The Passover celebrated how, much, uh, celebrated how God had saved his people from being slaves in Egypt so long ago. And when we take the Lord's Supper, we celebrate that Jesus loved us and saved us when he died and rose again. Now, we can't be together today to take the Lord's Supper in person but we can always carry the love behind that supper with us. And it may be good, especially now, to remember that Jesus uh, shared this so that um, we might know his love. And that when we feel a little grumpy with each other after being together so much, especially then, it's our job to share God's love with others. Today I want to invite you to use your paper and markers or crayons to make a sign for your kitchen or your dining room so that anytime you share a meal together this week, you can remember two things. First, God loves you. And second, God wants you to share your love with others. I already made my poster. Um, let's see if I can get it to show here on the page. Um, I think that it should say something like this. 
Jesus, bless our time together, and we, may we know your love here. Amen. I'm going to hold this here for just one second, but if you need longer to copy the words, you can pause the video so that you can write them down on your sign. After you've written the words, you can decorate your paper um, so that it's a beautiful reminder for you all week long. While you keep working on your paper, I'm going to lead us in a prayer. Will you join me in praying? Dear God, thank you for saving us through Jesus. Thank you for the story of the Lord's Supper where we learn so much about how you wanted to share your love with your disciples. Help us to live out this example of love today and all week long. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Amen, friends. I want you to finish up the signs and hang them up where you can see them each time you eat a meal this week. God's love will be with you as you share God's love with your family. Bye-bye.